Want to do some light gaming, journal work or watch a movie? I couldn't find a better laptop for you. Hello everyone and welcome back to TechSim, the YouTube channel where technology is simplified. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you my complete and honest opinions on the brand new Lenovo IdeaPad 3. So let's get into it. The Lenovo IdeaPad 3 I'm talking about today comes fitted with an impressive AMD Ryzen 5 3500U processor, 8GB of RAM, an absolutely rapid 256GB SSD and AMD's Radeon Vega 8 graphics. Let's talk about the processor first. So the processor within this computer is very impressive, bearing in mind the price tag. It is very powerful and will allow you to have multiple power hungry applications open at the same time, as well as having lots of internet tabs also open as well. So you will not be short of excellent performance and snappy loading times. This is all complemented by the SSD, which will result in this laptop booting up quicker than you can subscribe to my channel. However, for some people, 256 gigabytes may not be enough storage. And if this is the case for you, I would highly recommend purchasing an external hard drive or SSD. SD. I have linked some of the best ones I can find in the description if you want to check them out. Moving on to the RAM and graphics then, so Vega 8 graphics, despite being on board graphics, isn't actually that bad. I have Vega 8 graphics in my computer as well as 8GB of RAM and I can easily get between 50 and 72 FPS on Minecraft depending on what settings I have it on. So as well as handling heavy applications, a little bit of light gaming is definitely on the cards. The RAM also allows smooth switching between games and different applications. This is not a gaming laptop, I must make that very very clear. But that doesn't mean you can't game on it at all. The first benchmark game is Call of Duty Warzone and as you can see on low settings at 720p the laptop is putting around 26 FPS on average with lows of well uh, 8 FPS. <laughs> um, I, yeah I told you it wasn't a gaming laptop. Anyway in PUBG it starts to get better. As you can see on low settings at a very fancy 1080p this time we are averaging 34 FPS with lows of 17 FPS which is definitely an improvement. In our final benchmark game CSGO, the IdeaPad pulls an average frame rate of 75 and a low of 27 with graphics on low but with high textures. This is pretty awesome. So as you can see, Vega A graphics can play a few games relatively well, which is why this laptop is ideal for light gaming. In terms of looks, the Lenovo IdeaPad isn't that bad. It's clean and well finished, but is unfortunately a little let down by the relatively large bezel around the screen. But otherwise, nothing much to complain about. There is a full HD 1080p screen, which provides a great view experience when working, gaming or watching movies. With regards to all the ports on this laptop, it comes with an SD card reader and 3.5mm audio jack on the right and two USB 3.0 ports as well as a USB 2.0 port and a HDMI port on the left side. A few key features to point out are that you can switch between performance and endurance modes with one simple keystroke, which improves ease of use and increases productivity. There is also a mechanical webcam shutter which can put your mind at rest if I don't know you're worried, the Russian military are spying on you. So what are my overall opinions on this laptop? Well, I think it's one of the best high performance budget laptops that you can buy at the moment and I really do believe that it is worth its £480 price tag. But who is this laptop really meant for you may be asking? Well, if you're looking for a work laptop that needs a dozen different applications open as well as various different internet tabs all at the same time, then get this laptop. If you're a student that needs to complete assignments and wants to do a little bit of light gaming, then buy this laptop. But if you are looking for a laptop which can perform consistently at over 100 FPS on AAA titles, then try looking for a laptop with a dedicated graphics card because I don't think you'll be satisfied with this. That's about it for this video, but remember, if you are interested in buying this laptop, then a link to it will be in the description. I hope you enjoyed this review and found it helpful. If you did, a like would really help out the channel. But with that being said, I'll see you in the next one.